Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Carla. I know it's been a while since I posted my last video, but in 2022, I will be posting more regularly. I'm aiming for once a week and I actually think I'll do it this time. I always say this, but this time is different. This video is going to be my apartment tour. I recently moved to Los Angeles. Well, now it's not so recent. It's probably been around five or six months at this point and the apartment is as complete as it will get. There are little finishing touches that I wanna do, but at this point it's a rental. I don't know if it's worth it. Just a little rundown of the stats. This is a two bed, two bath. It's around 1100 square feet. There's a balcony. There's nothing on the balcony except for cobwebs. I will be linking everything that is currently in stock or still for sale in the description. Some of the things like my nightstands, they actually don't sell anymore. If you watch my Jersey City apartment tour, this one is a bit different. Like I said, it is probably double the size of my last apartment and there's a lot more color as you can tell. I won't continue rambling. Let's get into the tour. Welcome to my entrance. This is my door. I still do have a wreath up just because, I don't know, the door is kind of boring without it. Eventually I do want to put a shoe rack over here because it ends up being a dumping ground for shoes. I just have two command hooks here that hold our keys. Welcome to my dining room. It's more of a dining space. I would call everything in here a space. Here is where I decided to put the dining table. Like I said, this is one big open room, so I could have really put it anywhere. I just decided to put it next to the kitchen. The table and the chairs are from Wayfair. I will link the exact ones down below. But as you can see, it is a lot of wood. So I decided to break it up with a table runner from West Elm. This is just like a cotton textured table runner. The chairs are really similar to the table, but they have kind of a beige white seat cushion and then usually I will try to have flowers on the table but without it it kind of just makes the space a little boring so welcome to my kitchen as you can see it is pretty modern the cabinets have no fixtures or handles or anything like that and there's no backsplash these are things that I would probably do a lot differently if it was my own kitchen, but it is just a rental, so I have to deal with it, sadly. I did end up buying a island from Amazon. This one does have a wood top. I tried doing marble contact paper. I didn't really like the look of it. It looked a little cheap, so maybe one day I'll paint it white. But for now, I actually don't mind the wood top. The amount of apartments you have to choose from in Jersey City are much smaller than LA. And I did this all virtually. I never actually saw this apartment before we moved in or signed a lease. As you can see, I have my little coffee station here and then I just got a KitchenAid mixer, the KitchenAid stand mixer in white recently as well. And I have that in the other corner. So here is a bit of a better look on my fridge is a shrine to my nephews. And I must admit on TikTok, my mugs are a hit. So this is just my mug collection here. I can't stop buying them. They're all from Anthropology. Anthropology definitely has the best mugs. This one here is my most recent one, and this one is my second most recent. But all of these, this one, this one, this one, and that one are all from Anthropology. Welcome to my living room. In my last apartment, I had a white couch, but this one I wanted to go a completely different direction. White couches in terms of longevity, I wouldn't say are the best bang for your buck. Luckily with this one, I don't think there's any chance of the sun ruining it or any stains. Obviously you just wipe everything off and it is a modular sofa, so everything just clicks into place. It is pretty low to the ground, but I actually enjoy that. It's pretty deep, so if you sit all the way back into the couch, your feet don't actually touch the ground unless you're like six foot five, which no one in my family is, but it is a 10 foot couch. I wanted to get a larger couch just to fill up the space a bit more, but I would recommend this couch. It is firmer, so if you like a plush sofa, I would not recommend this for you. All right, so here is a bit of a closer view of the rug and everything put together. The wall art is from Etsy. They are digital art prints that I had printed at Walgreens, and the couch is a Modway Restore Collection sectional. As you can tell, it is super modern, so finding a style of rug and wall art that worked with the color and the style of the couch was a little difficult, but I feel like I nailed it. This is the Elroy Sherpa chair from Target. It is mainly an accent piece. I don't really use it. It came with a pillow that is on that side of the couch, but I decided for a more modern look. I just wanted it to be without one. Blue, 
And then from here you can see the bar cabinet and bookshelf. I am working on filling the bookshelf a bit more and the bar cabinet. I think I do want to get a little art piece of like a Campari bottle and just put it in a frame and lean it against the wall. Here is the TV console. The TV is mounted to the wall and there are no cords because the outlet is actually right behind the TV. The TV console is from Home Depot. I believe it was under $150 and I just have a fiddle leaf fig right next to it and some decorations on top. Here is another view of the apartment. Welcome to my bedroom. I decided to keep everything in here very plain, so it's all very white. I think I might stuff one more duvet into the duvet cover just because I want it to be a bit more fluffy and it's kind of flat right now. This is a nine by 12 rug. And then over here, I have the Ikea Hovet mirror. This one is very large and it almost didn't fit in our car, but I'm happy that we made it home. This is where the closet is. I will not show you guys that today because it is a mess. And from this way, this is the bathroom. This is the master bathroom. It's nothing special. I think it's pretty plain. I'm not really the biggest fan of the finishes in this apartment, but it works. There are no medicine cabinets, so I had to use all the counter space. I got this tray from Anthropology and just decided to display some perfume on there. And then the same soap dispenser from the kitchen, toothbrush holder, and then this is where I house my skincare. This is a rotating makeup organizer from Amazon. I will link below if you guys are interested. And I just have a hand towel from Target. Welcome to the final part of my apartment. This here is the guest corner in my office. The guest bedroom is this way and the bathroom is here. Behind me is the closet that houses the washer and the dryer. And luckily there's a little space for some storage, but that's what I use that for as well. But I will turn the camera around and show you guys. So just to give you guys a little understanding of where this is, that is the living room and this is the kitchen. So you just walk this way. On this side is the bathroom. This one is significantly smaller than the master bathroom. And this is the washer dryer closet. And this is my office. So it's very simple in here. I just have a full size bed and two people do fit comfortably on here. Those frames are from my last apartment and the bed frame is just a metal bed frame with no headboard. So I did prop up with a lot of pillows. These side tables are just $25 side tables from Target. They're made out of particle board. Very cheap, but I wasn't looking to spend a lot of money in this room. I do have a little mirror over there for guests if they want to use it. I don't really use it day to day. If you walk this way and you look in this direction this whole wall is a wall of closets i'm not going to show you guys just because it's really unorganized and eventually i do want to do a video organizing my closets but for now you get a glimpse for the blinds there are these ugly vertical blinds which we will not talk about so this is my desk setup it's pretty simple i do want to add a few things just to you know pizzazz it up a little bit but for now this is perfectly okay with me then you turn this way and that is the bathroom. There's not much to review in this bathroom. There are drawers in this one, so I keep most of my stuff here. But if you step in, it is pretty, you know, cave-like. There's no window in this one and it's pretty small. But I just decided to put some eucalyptus to put some greenery in the space a bit. There is no medicine cabinet as well, so I used a basket from Target just to put the stuff that would normally be on the counter in there. And currently I'm just using Christmas soap still from Target. It's the Forest Fur scent. This one also has a bathtub and shower. Thank you so much if you watched the full apartment tour. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a little bit different from the average apartment, but I think that's what I like about it so much. I've never tried incorporating color like I have in this one, and I think I like the end result. If you guys do wanna see more content, I make lifestyle and home content over on TikTok, and I will eventually start posting more of that stuff here on YouTube. So if you wanna see that, I would subscribe. I am planning on posting every week, so with that, I will see you guys next week. Ready?